Okay, I, I know I finished up with the video, but uh, someone asked me a question a while back if it was legal to do this in a sub panel. So they have uh, one hot wire feeding this is 120 volts. They have it jumpered over like this, and then they have their neutral over here, and they just want a 120 volt panel. Well, uh, absolutely not. It is not legal. It's uh, illegal, and if you were getting an inspection, you'd get a red tag from this. And the reason is you can't double, you can't put two wires underneath the same lug. Now, uh, you can put two wires over here on the grounding lug because there's a paper that says I'm allowed to do that from the manufacturer. This neutral bar, you're not allowed to put two neutrals underneath these same things because it says so on the panel. So, but what you can do, and I think uh, you told me you don't have a, a building department or, you know, electrical inspectors in your area. So, what you can do is you can unbolt this, take this lug off right here, and you can put this on just like that. And you would take that, and that's legal. We uh, we put double lugs in all the time, especially on meter sockets. We don't usually jump them out for 110 volts. Now, you know, the authority having jurisdiction might say, "Oh, it's not legal to have a 120 volt panel." Of course, you know that's their interpretation of the code. And they might say this is illegal in a panel board. So, but uh, I really don't see any problem with doing it like this. You have one here, and you have one here and you keep this 110 volts. So, and this is the, uh, I got this at Home Depot. You can get it at an electrical supply house. You figure out what your minimum size conductor is to your maximum size. These come in different sizes, but this one will fit right in this panel. Uh, also, if you have 110 here, and you have 110 here, and you put that jumper wire in there, you're gonna have a real bad day and burn up some equipment and you know maybe cause a fire or kill somebody or you know get flash blinded or whatever but uh, like I said this was just for demonstration purposes only also I noticed you got some wires like this in your panel now, this is just a piece of Romex I'm getting ready to I haven't run the ground yet uh, I just got a piece of Romex in here this is an old piece of 102 and it's it's white that's how old it is they make these things they're insulators they're called hit locks they sell them at Home Depot the supply houses and they got that slit and they fit around the wire like that. So that would be my recommendation. Sometimes you have to take the screwdriver and kind of beat them on there a little bit. It doesn't want to cooperate now. There we go. So now you've insulated that. So I think if you address those problems in your sub panel and do what we did here in the beginning of the video, separate the, uh, the grounds neutrals and put in a uh, grounding electro conductor I think you'll be good to go if you have any more questions send me an email